Hey guys, this is a new video, and uh, yeah, it's a new new event. It's a boutique exchange certificate event, so it's actually pretty cool in my opinion. Um, so let me just go ahead and collect all this crap here quickly, and then I'm going to go ahead and look up, well, what's up with this. Um, I'll say, May Day uh, Logging Gift, so apparently you can get that, that's cool. Um, oh, you can get some gifts, you can get some certificates, a 10k, oh, 30k. Shin Flame Ichua. I already have the tier 2 version of that, I think. Rin Skin Wish. Rin Wish Skin. That's cool. <sighs> yeah, I think I have the tier 2 version of that already. Let me go ahead and look it up quickly. Yeah, it should be on like Sasuke or Naruto. One of the two. Oh, it's on him. No, that's the usual. Let's see. Yeah, see, I got the secondary version of that, so that's cool. Um. Anyways, it's a boutique exchange certificates. Um. So now, first of all, on um, boutique exchange, they're always good. Um. So they added some new cards to the combo card certificates thing. So you can now get the Kinshi Otsutsuki Tier Five equipment if you exchange ten uh, boutique certificates. Um. You can get ten certificates and can exchange it for the Sasuke Sakura combo card Eternal Love. You can get the um, Son of Prophecy, Naruto, and Nagato boutique for 35 boutique exchange certificates. Uh, Yamato's Tier 5 uh, items, uh, you can get them for uh, one certificate each. And then Yuguto, Yugito uh, Tier 5 items, you can get them for uh, one certificate each. Um, now, Mystical Training Certificates, you can get the combo card between Sakura and uh, Tsunade. So, so that's good for 200 certificates, though, for the mystical. Keep that in mind, 200, not uh, less than that. Uh, Rin's Wish, Power of Two, Eyes, Skin. Huh, I might actually have to try to get that from the collection. How much is it, though, to get that skin? Shit, it's 75. I only have, like, 55. I'd have to recharge, like, at least 100 bucks worth. I mean, I'd get quite a few certificates, but at the same time, it's still quite a bit to recharge. Um, hmm. Uh, I don't think it'd be worth it, though, to get the consumption reward for that. Because, I mean, I would get that, but at the same time, I don't particularly need it. Need it. So if you recharge 500 gold, um, each one, each 500 gold you recharge, you're going to get one boutique exchange certificate and one Mayday gift, which you can open to get like these rewards over here. Let me go scroll up all the way up to see what you can get. You can get a one boutique certificate. You can get two certificates. You can get one certificate for mystical training, two certificates for mystical training, uh, three certificates for mystical training, uh, 120 polish scrolls, 500 rare ore, or 500 uh, gold, 500 rare ore. Two yin and yang or uh, recharge coupon. So you can get one of those 10 and you can get 10 per day. So let me go ahead and get my 11. So I know it says 10 per day, but like um, if you get 10, see, if you get 10 from uh, doing the, uh, just doing the event, um, if you do another, you can do one more extra if you just go ahead and uh, keep on trying. Like you can get 11 per day usually. Uh, so let's see, that's all those, and I'm going to go ahead and open them in a second, so let's go ahead and do that. Let me see how many I have right now. I know it's not like 10, but just to make sure, so it's, okay, it is 10, so I need one more of these. So, so you can get 10 of them, uh, normally, just from doing wipeout coupons, but if you want to get, uh, more than 10, you're going to have to re, uh, what do you call it, do, do them by, uh, manually, which means that you have to go the dungeon one by one. Uh, and basically press skip and then restart, press skip and then restart, and you might get another one as a reward. Um, after that, you really only can get 11 per day. I know it says 10, but 11 is usually the max that you can get. Yeah, see, I got my last one. So let's go ahead and open these up and see what we can get. So let's scroll to the left. And let's see what I get from 11. Hopefully I get some certificates. So I got... <laughs> Two two boutique exchange certificates, uh, two yin and yang packages, fifty recharge coupons, uh, one point five k rare ore, four mystical training certificates, five hundred gold, and one hundred and twenty posh scrolls. It's actually pretty good. 
And then if I open these up, you have a chance to get one of those four. And I got 1,000 Bloodline Stones, which in my opinion is like the most worthless one in the entire rewards. But eh. Um, I think you can do a gold tundra and get a uh, a few uh, May, uh, May Day gift. Let me go ahead and try, check that, actually. Yeah, if you do a gold tundra. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hold that for a second. Oh, if you recharge for three days continuously, you're going to get um, one certificate and three May Day packages. So that's nice. Um, okay, if you do a gold tendra, you get two May Day gifts packages. That's good. Um, let's see. So yeah, if you recharge uh, 500, you get, for the rewards, you get 500 from the daily recharge rewards. So keep in mind. So if you recharge 500, you're going to get one cert one certificate and one May Day package from just recharging 500 gold every time you recharge 500 gold or more so if you recharge 1000 you get two of two if you recharge 10,000 you get 10 so it just depends i mean you get 20 sorry you so it depends on how much you recharge but um for the daily recharge reward if you recharge 500 you're going to get one may day package and one yin and yang and then it's going to go progressively up uh up until 1900 which is where you get one certificate and one yin and yang on top of whatever reward you get for actually recharging all the way up to there um if you recharge the max amount you get essentially four extra certificates plus whatever you're uh from the bottom from 30k down and then like 20 extra may day packages at that point i'd say you have a good 50 maybe uh 60 boutique exchange certificates minimum and then plus whatever you get from the may day packages um i'd be down to recharge today but i really can't because i'm saving up money for something um hmm. the consumption seems fairly good um there really isn't that much to it um, I think I'd go for the combo card power of two eyes. If you're curious about the flame Ichua, when it looks, uh, the true flame Ichua, what it looks like at tier two, um, that's what it looks like. Uh, it's got at level 120, 195k ninjutsu attack. And then if you equip it to Madara or Obito, they get 90, 90k ninjutsu attack and, uh, they get the ability to reflect the enemy skill after they do a normal attack. So it's fairly good, but I mean, it's meh. Um, apart from that, there really isn't that much else to tell. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna do some quick daily Q&A. Well, Q&A, let's be real here. And, and then I'll be off. So let's see. Let's see. Nope. nope. Shit, sorry about that, guys. Actually, which reminds me, I really should lower the volume for that. There we go. And here we go. Press pause, and there we go. Wait, is this an old video? Oh, it's not. Okay. So, how many gold did you get? Do you need to consume in order to get the last Hashirama and Tobirama event in order to get Hashirama Scroll, which increases the number of Hashirama clones? Uh, you you can get that for free if you have on gold, I believe. Um, otherwise, for the consumption, I believe for that particular scroll, it was how much was? It? I think it was twenty k plus. I can't quite remember to be honest. Uh, how do I get Itachi's will free reanimated Itachi? You have to recharge, um, Michael. Uh, who are the six Akatsuki members you need to free to get the free Nagato? I have a bunch, but apparently 14 to 16. Wonder who the last two are. So, um, something that you need to realize, um, that it's all six Path of Pain. So you need the Naraka. Here, let me go ahead and find them. So you need Obito, obviously. Um, you need Zetsu, you need, uh... Itachi, but just the crappy reanimated version. You don't have to get Inazagi Itachi. Um, you need Orochimaru. You also need... Uh, where is he? Um, Cho no, not Chojiro. My bad. Uh, Nagato. Uh, no, actually, my bad. Not Nagato, because he's the one you're trying to get. Uh, you need... Kisame Hidan Kakazu. Um, Sasori, uh, Diva Path, Conan, um, where is he at? Reanimated Itachi, Naraka Path, Human Path, The Aperiata Path, Animal Path, Asura Path, uh, Deidara, and I think that's about it. I could be missing one though. 
Um, and Madara, I believe. Although, you probably only need his purple card, if you do. Like his base form of purple card. Ah, ah, ah. I scratched that out of pimple by accident that's inside my nose. Sorry about that, but like, it fucking exploded in pain. Didn't pop it, but dear lord did that hurt. Okay, um, <laughs> sorry for as disgusting as that, as that sounded. Um, May 5th is the day that I was birthday, usually with Sasori, so I can get all of their skins due to one of the day that skin being rare. I can probably get it to his birthday, most likely may have reborn because there's going to be uh, back in order like Shisui, day that I was right after his, and kind of a coincidence that Shisui event was reborn after his birthday when the last reborn they were right after each other. Okay. How do you get the nine tailed bloodline? Um, you have to train up Kuruma all the way up to his final form, but not Kuruma. Uh, I mean Naruto. You need to train up Naruto to his final form, which is Kuruma Naruto, and then you get the nine tailed um bloodline. Um, if you want to get the Kuruma bloodline, I believe. It, excuse me. Um, if you want to get the, let me find it. If you want to get this one in particular, nine. Oh, yeah, nine tails Kuruma's power. You need to um, seal the Nine Tails into Naruto, so that, which means you have to defeat the Nine Tails. Name of the game, uh, it is Naruto Hayate. What is the best way to recharge and get Sasuke Reborn? I can spend a max of 200 euros. Um, just really, uh, just recharge on event key days. You don't have to spend the keys that you spend, uh, that you buy. For example, if I recharge the keys for Lee on the Reborn day for Lee, or I mean my guy, if I recharge like 100 keys on that day, you don't have to use them. You can use them on a Naruto event. You can use them on a Nagato event whenever he gets reborn. So you're fine. You don't have to worry about that. Just uh, just be sure to recharge and make sure. And try to make sure that when you um, go for the Naruto, uh, try to get as high as you can. So um, try to pick a day where like not a lot of people are participating and you'll have an easier time having a higher ranking in the keys open which means you get more fragments towards the end of it kagami was a guy and he was shisui's ancestor ancestor okay cool <laughs> i mean this is gonna sound weird but a lot of the uchiha guys look girlish to be honest um so i have a hard time differentiating in them sometimes uh but in my defense kagami looks pre looked pretty girly so yeah um but okay yeah sorry about that it's because i know that itachi had a girlfriend and like i think he had to kill her with like a uh, super sukiyomi which like yeah it was bad but anyways um let's see what passive skill is the best for guy um so personally uh even though i don't use my guy anymore um the one that i like to put on him personally is let me go ahead and find him actually let me go ahead and find my guy let me see okay my guy the bone that i like to put on him is night guy which is in my opinion his best skill basically what it does after he releases the unique skill he randomly deals massive taijutsu damage to an enemy and adds gates eight gates debuffs so basically like the um tailed beast debuffs the shadow clone debuffs stuff like that um and they deal damage like a stupid amount of damage especially if you can last the battle for a long time and if you have this equipment in particular, let me show it to you. Uh, the Taijutsu kneecaps at tier 4. Um, he, he does damage. I think in a last video or two, I showed what he could do. I'm just going by himself. Okay, so... Um, uh, have you played the Dragon Ball Z game called Kamehameha? It's like this game, you should check it out. I'll try it out, Ayan. Uh, how long would it make take me to silver to diamond my Sasuke if I am silver? Um... If I try and if you can get Conan and you can get Conan fragments in twenty two dash twelve. Oh, can you? No way. Yeah, yeah. See, it doesn't say anything for me. Huh. Twenty two dash twelve. Yeah, doesn't show Conan. That sucks. Um, but uh, George. So um, keep in mind that when it comes to diamond, uh, it's a lot harder than gold. So, Diamond, you have to rely on the Rare Ore, and unless you have a very powerful team or recharge a lot, you're going to be struggling with Rare Ore. Um, for a Diamond Sasuke, you need to save up about 500 uh, Uchiha's Nightmare, 
And I think 100 of those is 90. No, 50 of those is 9K. So 18 times. No, let's see. Yeah, you'd have to save 90K rare, 90K rare ore for uh, Sasuke to get him to diamond. It's a lot easier to get him with gold, to be perfectly honest. Um, but if you do, it just depends on how much rare ore. Um, if you did get a lot quickly, then you're obviously going to do them faster. Um, but even if you get the max amount of free rare ore you can possibly get per a week, at the most, it's going to, at the very least, it's going to take you two weeks of just hard grinding in the diamond uh, mind and the cross server mind. And since you seem to be a newer player, I don't think that's going to be working out for you. So it's going to take you a very long time, anywhere from three months to possibly six, actually. So, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, 25-1 drops five Conan fragments packages uh, a day. Each package drops three fragments. Oh, okay, so 25-1. Let's see. I'm getting Chikaku's behest and the hot spring egg. Let's do some tries just to see maybe it's there. Let's do another 10. And I didn't get anything. Didn't get anything, and five more, just to have an even, uh, an even, uh, what do you call it? Even 50. And I got a Shikaku's behest, but I didn't get any Conan fragments, which sucks. Uh, what are the best equipments for Sasuke? Um, really just his tier 4 items, and then anything that you can add to increase his ninjutsu attack. He really is just best to deal damage. Um, if you can, though, I would recommend, well, I would strongly urge you strongly strongly urge you to either equip him with a lot of dodge or a lot of hit um you're gonna find out when you comes to pvp that really is some of the most important skills i've seen cards that are really not that good just destroy more powerful cards that are stupidly overpowered compared to the cards that have the high dodge but because they have a high dodge in the enemy cards the very good cards don't have a high hit well they can't do anything so yeah uh, okay. I have 43k gold. Should I wait for a Tobidama and Hashirama event or a boutique event? Um, if you're looking for the Hash for Hashirama or Tobidama's items, I would recommend waiting for their events. Otherwise, just go for a boutique event because boutique certificates, although it seems like a long time to save them up, they are fairly useful. They can be used to get tier 5 items now for some of the uh, cards that are um, coming out like Yamato or Shikamaru, Kisame, stuff like that. Or, um, if you're, yeah, if you're looking for the items, or, I mean, or combo cards, yeah, for the petite certificates. So, yeah, kind of depends on what you want, but I would recommend certificates if you can. I'm personally just saving until, like, a Black Friday situation where I can buy the, um, the Yin Chakra for me not to diamond him fairly quickly and easily. Uh, why does cards like my guy, Obito, Kakashi, and Sasuke have so many stages? It's a bitch trying to farm them to gold. <laughs> because they're the best cards. or Well, not the best, but the most popular cards, quote-unquote. Because, I mean, you have Naruto, the main guy. You have Sasuke, secondary main guy. Kakashi, an absolute badass. You have Obito, my personal favorite. You have my guy, another extreme badass. So, I mean, the better, uh, the more popular, the more people want to play to get them. So, yeah, there you go. We'll try the game so I can add you. So here you go, quickly. Um, let me go ahead and return friends and add. And my ID is. Let me go ahead and add these people. Sorry about that. Um, twelve uh sixty three nine. So there you go. Uh, just screenshot it. <laughs> uh, I don't think Itachi ever met K Kagami. Okay, cool. So that's about it for this video. Sorry if I sound rushed, but I gotta go do something quickly. Um, bye.